uh, it's my great pleasure to welcome our friend, uh, Foreign Minister Araujo, and other distinguished members of the Brazilian delegation uh, to the State Department. Uh, Ms. and I have developed a great working relationship over the past 10 months. Uh, some the other day at the White House, and my first trip of 2019 was to attend the inauguration uh, in Brazil of President Bolsonaro. Um, I celebrated New Year's Eve somewhere in the sky on the way down there, and it got me in just the right celebratory mood for, the, uh, for that big day. When President Trump and President Bolsonaro met at the White House uh, last March, they committed to expand and strengthen our strategic partnership. That's why today we're holding our first strategic dialogue in uh, seven years. Uh, but the change in our relationship is much bigger than any one meeting or set of meetings. We've entered uh, a deep, new, important uh, era in U.S.-Brazil ties. Uh, Brazil, under President Bolsonaro's leadership, has uh, importantly embraced a greater role for the free market, the best driver of economic growth and prosperity. And Brazil, a major democracy, firmly supports the only true democracy in the Middle East, Israel, as well. And Brazil has been a stalwart partner, friend, uh, in the Lima Group, uh, helping us all together support the Venezuelan people. Uh, Brazil, in fact, was among the very first nations to recognize the administration of Venezuela's legitimate leader, and in President Juan Guaido. In August 2019, Brazil announced it would prevent Maduro senior officials from traveling through Brazil. Uh, right now, Brazil is uh, hosting more than 180,000 Venezuelans who have fled economic collapse and tyranny that the Maduro regime has caused. This generosity is a testament to your country's uh, commitment to regional security, the protection of human rights. And all of Brazil's efforts give the United States uh, great confidence to cooperate in new ways. We're going to grow our trade relationship that already accounts for more than $100 billion annually. And this month, the president, excuse me, the Brazilians and the American teams will follow through on our commitment that our president's made in March. We're getting off the ground a $100 million 11-year impact investment fund for Amazon Biodiversity Conservation, and that project will be led by the private sector. Our security cooperation is growing too. This year, President Trump designated Brazil a major non-NATO ally. And today I'm pleased to say that Brazil is building on the work of the Ministerial to Advance Peace and Security in the Middle East that was held in Warsaw last February. Brazil will co-host a Warsaw Process Working Group on Humanitarian Issues and Refugees on February 5th and 6th of next year. And we're also working together to confront the man-made crisis in Venezuela and push back against tyrants in Cuba and in Nicaragua. Together, we are seizing the opportunity to cement the future of security, prosperity, and democracy for our people and for the entire hemisphere. Thank you again for coming to Washington. It's great to be with you today. Thank, thank you very much, Mr. Secretary. Good morning to you all. This is, I believe, the uh, fourth time uh, we have a meeting this year with uh, Secretary Mike Pompeo, once in Brasilia and three times here in uh, Washington, apart, apart from the times we, we met uh, at the margin of uh, other events. Uh, this is uh, overall my sixth time uh, visiting the United States this year, counting the one that I came with President Bolsonaro. So uh, I think this clearly shows that we are working hard to uh, deliver on the uh, commitment of our two presidents to really build a very strong partnership and alliance between Brazil and the United States. The one important step we're taking today with the uh, meeting of the Strategic Partnership Dialogue, and uh, we were talking about that, we really want to make it strategic in the sense of uh, being uh, a forum where we can discuss the interconnection of uh, different initiatives, of different areas uh, of uh, endeavor, where we can uh, plan for the future and where we can, uh, through different initiatives, reinforce the whole relationship. We uh, do that on the basis of, um, I think, the shared vision of the world, uh, which makes it even uh, stronger apart from the uh, concrete interest, economic, uh, other in interests that we have, but whenever, which is the case now, we have a common vision, a common, vision, a common philosophy, so to say, uh, it can be and it must be even stronger. Uh, the uh, foreign policy that we are trying to build in Brazil is uh, based on top of very clear principles, the principle of uh, freedom and democracy, the principle of sovereignty, 
the principle of defense of our values, and the principle of uh, economic opening and a market uh, economy. Uh, to uh, through that, to uh, uh, accomplish what we're trying to accomplish and what the Brazilian people voted for when they uh, elected President Bolsonaro, a program for a Brazil that is uh, more, present and, uh, more present in the world, that uh, is able to uh, grow its economy, to change a system that gave us only uh, stagnation and corruption in the past, and uh, our relationship with the United States is a big part of accomplishing those objectives, those principles of uh, foreign policy and foreign engagement. We are seeing that concretely in many cases, in the case of Venezuela, for example, where we uh, totally stand together in the effort to help Venezuelans recover their democracy. We are also translating that in our economic and trade engagement, which is going forward uh, very quickly and uh, uh, actually uh, 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 responding to the uh, huge expectations from our private sector and productive sector. Um, uh, which we are seeing uh, again in the uh, area of security and defense, the uh, uh, status of a major non-NATO ally that uh, Brazil now has with the uh, United States is immensely important for us and we want to translate that into concrete steps that reinforce Brazil's role in uh, peace and security. Security uh, for Brazilians, it's a priority for uh, our people to uh, live in a secure, in secure and safe uh, environment. Uh, so uh, everything that the Brazilian people uh, wants from our government, that's something that we can achieve in a good part in cooperation with the uh, United States. Also, uh, across the world, now we see some uh, signs of uh, uh, ideas that would uh, question sovereignty, that would uh, uh, be in a sense of, uh, in the case of Brazil, that we are uh, uh, specifically in the Amazon that we uh, uh, maybe are not able to, uh, to cope with the, uh, the challenges of the environment there. We said, no, that's not true. And uh, our friends here in the US know that's not true. And uh, we want to be together in the uh, endeavor to uh, uh, create uh, development for the uh, Amazon region, which we are convinced that is the only way to really protect the forest. So uh, we need new initiatives, new uh, uh, productive initiatives that create jobs, that create revenue for people in the Amazon, and that's uh, where uh, our partnership with the United States will be uh, very important for us. So uh, we have this uh, very uh, ambitious uh, agenda, and uh, we're convinced that we are delivering on it. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Thank you all. Thank you all.